Hello. I'm Oliver Jeffers, and this is my new book. Meanwhile, back on Earth, finding our place through time and space. It's a cosmic view in conflict and how we battle over borders. And it's all told from a family car trip out past the moon. Let's begin. <clears throat> in all of the cosmos, this one place in our solar system is where all of the people live and have done for the whole time we've been people. We've always thought that Earth is so big that it's best to divide it into smaller bits. It seems we humans have always fought each other over space. Though really, Earth is not so big, not compared to, well, space. Shall we take a detour and see for ourselves? Then let's put on our space helmets, turn this into a space car and head out towards the moon. It is a quarter of a million miles away, so it'll take almost a year to drive there. All the speeds and distances are calculated at 37 miles an hour. And that's the average speed that humans drive at. On this trip, it's important to keep checking the mirror to see what we're up to back on Earth. So if we were already at the moon, it would be almost a year ago at home. We'd see Earth much as we left it at the start of the 21st century, where everyone seems distracted and can't agree on what we do next. If we took a left turn at the moon towards the sun, it would be a 78 year drive from Earth to Venus, our closest planet. Meanwhile, back on Earth 78 years ago, it was the middle of the 20th century and the whole planet was fighting for hopefully the last time. If we kept heading towards the sun, it would be a 150 year drive to Mercury. Meanwhile, back on Earth 150 years ago, it was late in the 1800s and a few small countries were racing to divide up and own a valuable bit of land and the people in it. If back at the moon we'd made a right turn instead of a left and headed towards Mars, it would take about 170 years to get there. Meanwhile, back on Earth 170 years ago, it was the middle of the 1800s and four different empires were fighting over a small bit of land that stuck out into a small sea. Back on our original course, it would be a 283 year drive to reach the sun. Make sure you've got the air conditioning going and your sunglasses on. Meanwhile, back on Earth 283 years ago, it was the middle of the 1700s and some humans, after sailing across an ocean and fighting with the humans who were already there, were about to start fighting each other. Now, if we'd made that right turn towards Mars and kept going, we would be driving for 500 years from Earth before we saw anything else. When we eventually did, it would probably be Cirrus, the largest object in the asteroid belt. Checking in the year view mirror, we see that back on Earth 500 years ago, the first people from one big bit of land arrived at the other big bit of land and ran riot. I hope you're comfortable and brought snacks, as it's almost a 1200 year drive to Jupiter. While back on Earth 1200 years ago, it was the year 800 and something, and the Vikings had finished fighting everyone around them, so they built boats to find new people to fight. But let's keep going, as it's only a short 2,400 year drive to Saturn. Meanwhile, back on Earth two and a half millennia ago, some people were building the largest wall ever to be made so they could keep all the other people out. Considering how far we've already driven, we're still in less than halfway to Uranus, which is just over a 5,000 year drive. Meanwhile, back on Earth 5,000 years ago, people discovered using animals and metal made fighting much more effective. It's really pretty empty this far out. It'll take just over 8,000 years to drive to Neptune. Back on Earth, it is 6,000 BCE and the sea is still rising from the end of the last ice age. And early people were fighting each other with sticks and stones. If we carry on, after driving for 11,000 years, we finally reach Pluto. Meanwhile, back on Earth 11,000 years ago, there are fewer people on Earth than currently live in Ireland, was about six million, and they are much too busy surviving to bother with fighting each other. We've reached the end of our solar system, just one of billions. Do you want to keep going? Next up, Alpha Centauri, just a 77 million year drive away. Or do you want to go home?